Yeah, yeah, it's Pastor. Hey, 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 yeah, Chris hey. Cash. Okay, you know how we coming. How you on my block? You ain't gonna What's good, YouTube man? Y'all already know who this man's your neighborhood pastor. Back on the scene, cooling on him. Hey, look, man, just came back from the barber not too long ago, shit like that. But um, we finna do this reaction video to DDG shows off his insane jewelry collection. You know GQ and all that, man. If you didn't check out the last one, go check that one out. That was Philip the Nero I did. And um, we finna see who, we finna see what they chain, what DDG chain looking like and all his jewelry and stuff, man. But um, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button, leave feedback, all that good stuff, man, before we get into the video, man. And we on the road to a thousand subscribers, man. And you already know we're going up by the day, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's get straight into it. What's good, Josh? Your boy DDG. You're watching GQ on the rocks. This is my first. $18,000. Very, very expensive at the time. We bought this in 2016. Come over here. I barely wear this because I be poking people. And I actually, I, be, I stabbed myself a few times with this. So this is a very, very dangerous piece. I actually had, I couldn't bring this in the club once. That's how dangerous this piece is. It's very, very, very sharp when I wear it for music videos. But this is 10K. Got from Icebox. I'm not going to lie. I see a little pump with them on. But he had the ones that was like all the way around his arm. And I was gonna get that, and then I was messing around with it. And every time I put my wrist down, it like stabs the, the table or whatever. So I ended up getting this one where it's only spikes at the bottom. So it's more a little more comfortable, but I barely wear it now. That chain go crazy. My favorite piece that I got here, I would say, I would have to say this one. I didn't like it at first, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like it at first, I thought it was just a little too bulky, but the more that I wear it, I feel like I just got to style it a certain way, but I wanted to just give me like a big circle piece. Peter Marco made this one. So they got Pontiac at the top, DDG in the middle, Pontiac made, DDG, repping the city. Got this was 50000 Okay, 50000 you got baguettes in the middle right here, the diamonds on the side right here, the diamonds on the side right here, the diamonds everywhere, so I fought it out. I really only wear this in music videos. You probably never see me out in public with this uh, just because it's, it shines a lot and doing too much. And I feel like this is more so like a music video piece rather than something that I wear every day. So I pick and choose when I want to wear it. Got this piece right here. It say DDG Squad. I love my fans. Not even my fans. I'm not my fans. I'm saying fans because I simplify for the people that don't know me. But my family. Uh, my squad. So I got this chain to represent them. And I was been supposed to give it away, but I never gave it away. But I spent 4K. I got it from my box. Got the guess in the face. One of my special people gonna get me. Alright, we'll go over to this one. This piece right here. <coughs> cool little choker chain. Got little spikes in it. Something different. Craftsmanship. Shit. Shit's tough, though. Paid 25000 for it. We'll come over Damn. here. This is the big Cuban. I done ran through a few Cubans in my jury career. Um, I'm a cheap collector, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I be trading shit, you know. I like to keep my money. If I get bored of some jury, and I don't want it no more, I can keep it. I'm trading in some. I had, like, a, two different Cubans. And I was like, I got a white Cuban and a rose Cuban. Why not just get one two-tone? But this right here, 45 <laughs> Super heavy. I barely wear it, but I usually put it on this chain. Actually, let me do this. I got this chain specifically for this, but I also wear it by itself sometimes. This was actually this was actually a necklace that I mean the chain that I had. This was like a regular all white chain that I had, and I cut it in half and I turned it into a bracelet. See, a lot of these rappers be out here spending extra money for nothing. You know what I mean? Remember I told you about that chain that I had that I traded in a lot. I actually cut it in half and made two bracelets. I don't know where the other bracelet at, but it looks fire. You would never know unless I told you. Tennis chains, you would think these wouldn't cost a lot. And I see a lot of fake tennis chains. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it kind of discredits 
how much I paid for this. And it kind of hit almost the same, which is very sad. It makes me feel like I should have bought the fake one. But I can't work fake jewelry, so that's why I have to spend so much money. Even back in the day when I didn't have money like that, I couldn't really wear jewelry because my neck would break out. So I got this right yeah, here. Yeah, my neck would break out. For this one tennis chain. I can't wear no fake jewelry either. The pointers was crazy. Bangs in the light. Definitely worth it. This one right here. A15. Diamonds are smaller. Probably got finesse though. Y'all comment below. Did I get finesse or what? I don't know. Yeah, 15,000 15, for that. Rose gold pinky ring. I have probably have told him I didn't give me a pinky ring, bro. Like I spent five thousand. Ring got diamonds all around. That's not bad. Five thousand so. Come right here. Got this right here. Now. Secret for y'all, I got this in Icebox, right? Cartier sells the same one, but they charge like 40000 you know what I mean, for the same thing. I get I get nice diamonds, and I get the white gold. I spent tickets. So, about this right here, this is my grill. This is another music video piece. you never see me wearing this. It's very, very uncomfortable. I don't like wearing grills just for the simple fact that, you know, I, I, secret, nobody knows this. I haven't told the world this. I have in years. Nobody knows this. I've never told nobody this. But I have veneers, so when I put this on there, it's kind of uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So I don't really like wearing it. But I wear it in music videos because it's shiny. Yeah, I ain't gonna wear it. Y'all not gonna wear it. Let's get into the watches. The watches is really my thing. I'm really into watches, and I've been through a few of them. But this is what I have here today. Man, I love some watches, man. Right here. Got a little scratch in it. I don't really wear this one. This is kind of like a red face. It match red if I wear red, just to ask. It's tough. Just to ask to my outfit. This was thirty dollars. This is just a date just. It's a date just Rolex. It's more of like a startup Rolex. This plane, you can probably get it for like eight k or something like that. I don't know, ten k or something like that. So definitely an upcharge with the diamonds, but it's very very nice. It shines and do what it got to do. And if I wear red, then it makes the outfit pop. Come over here. We got. Patek Philippe. This is one of my favorite watches. All white. Pay sixty thousand for it. I bought this on just a random day. Always wanted a Patek. I got all the other name brand watches, so I always wanted one of these. It ain't shining too crazy in here because the light ain't right. But when I go outside, they blind me. This is my most crazy. recent purchase. This is a Royal Oak AP. Bust down, raise bezel. A P. Around it. I just got this. It crazy. Um, it's the chronograph. I don't really know too much about it. Nothing like that. But it costs eight. You got that from the ice box. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I spent on this. Go ahead and put this. Put that on right there. This the big boy. I think I'm gonna get more into these. I'm gonna get some more like, you know, popping watches. I feel like this is a man's watch. Diamonds busting. Crazy. Eight K. And we'll come to the Big Bang. This is one of my dumbest purchases, but it's kind of smart at the same time. This watch looks like a G-Shock. You know, a lot of people might leave this watch and be like, you know, when it's, if you look closely, I don't know if y'all got the zoom on. See that little piece in there? I don't know what the it is, but I know it costs a lot. That's all I know. Look at it. I don't know what these two lines mean. I don't know nothing about this watch, but I do know this. I hope your zoom work. Your zoom button work on this part too. Check it right here. You're right there. Get in the middle. Can you read that? A limited edition. You, you read it? Limited edition. 16 out of 100. There's only 100 of these made in the world. I got one of them. One of us will show you the serial number. Here. Um, but this is a Richard Mill, Johan Blake is the name of it. It's only a hundred of them. And I got this when I my mindset when I got this watch was I wanted something that's not loud. But if I run into Bill Gates, now if I run into the, a normal civilian, they don't know what I got on. But if I run into Bill Gates or if I run into anybody, anybody with money, anybody that knows anything about Richard Mills, it's a statement. You know what I mean? It starts a conversation. I bought this watch strictly just to have conversations with people that I would like to talk to and I can learn from. So, hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars is what I spent on this. Dang! And it's the last one. Elmo. Just like that, man. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. 
I'm gonna keep it tough though. I see other rappers, I see they doing collection, I, I take a little bit of notes, but I'm more of like a watch guy. I'm more of like, I wanna get to the point where I'm not wearing diamonds anymore, but I'm just doing this for now. As a 23 year old, millions of dollars, and I'm just going with the flow. I watch Loki with the tough a little bit on. Alright, y'all, this is your boy DDG on the Rocks GQ. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm out. That was a good little video, but dang, that much on the watch? Hey, how... <sighs> what? A hundred? Get out of here. But, uh, even if I had bread, bro, I probably wouldn't spend that much on the watch. I ain't spent over a hundred thousand over a watch from the watch, bro. But, um, that's basic, bro. That's, bro, that, you can get you a real good car for that. But, um, that was a little good video, man. Um, I mess with his watches the most. I might go have a watch collection too, man. Give me a little AP, a Rolex, you feel me? Give me a passive chain. But, uh, it was a good video, man. Uh, you already know, man. Hit that like button, leave feedback, all that good stuff, man. You know, we're going to keep tuning in, man. More and more. And it's going to be more and better content. You'll see on, on, if you stay with me, bro. You'll see. But, uh, you already know who it is, man. It's your neighborhood. Pass the. Man, it's pasta. Hey, 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 yeah, Chris Cash. Cash. Yeah. I know how we coming. How you on my blog? You ain't got no idea.